Alrighty, let's play this here. It's like some steps. We got the reference. Oh yeah, you mentioned that you can't scale the feet down. They are so huge. They're so huge. I think that's all very cool. Let me see. I think the big thing you're gonna have to do just for yourself, because I'm not familiar with this rig, because we're lingering on this and we're kind of using that as a guide. Will you be able to do this with this rig? Because if not, then you might as well jump to right to this here. Just kind of throwing it out there. Make sure that this is something that you can do and want to do. All the detail, you're gonna build some keep alive. You're gonna have to stray from the reference a bit because it's very still. You might have to add a little bit extra business, kind of heighten that a little bit, push a little bit, and then definitely watch out for that. And then I would start going into a few more breakdowns, like stuff like that has a lot more detail, obviously in the reference. But right off the bat here, I think this works. It's been a while since we've seen this. I'm just, I just feet are crazy. You might want to play with even like a bigger angle, a higher angle matching this here since we're sticking to the reference fairly closely. There's something, let me just look at the reference. He turns. There's a bit of a difference here in the walk, right? His little small steps, and then he gets into bigger strides. In your animation, let me just see. You're doing this. I think we could push that a bit more. Because when I was watching the animation, it felt a bit, almost like a cycle. We get in there and like, dum, dum. So I think in, to push that a bit, I will go into this where you might have smaller steps where I'm even not as far. So we can see still that bend in here. We can feel and see the bend. But again, it could just be even shorter. And then we move into a bit of a bigger, not a full extension, but... Just a bit more, even with this guy. You can see this here. It's just a bit more. But again, I want to stray from the reference to introduce a bit more contrast. Small, small, big, big. And even then, you could add a little bit of a change in the head where he might look up for a little moment. Just to give it a bit more interest. Sometimes sticking to the reference gets a bit... Just, just not as interesting. Once you spline this, watch out. This feels a bit odd. You're starting to get a bit off balance there and then it bumps back into balance. So watch out for that where I would stay a bit more within balance and kind of look at moments like these when this is bent and you get into really that knee pushing in there and then a pop out. How this is going to be in spline, you might have to adjust, maybe delay the leg a bit or just kind of move the elbow. You kind of have to kind of play around with that moment so it's going to work. And this feels almost like a computer, like a video game character, you know, when they turn in place, right? It's very steppy. Like feet go up fairly high. And then it feels like he's just turning in place. I know he's taking steps. It just feels like a turn where again, I would tweak that and stray. I mean, we're already not matching the reference, but to me, it feels like you can do this and do less of a height thing and kind of shuffle that foot around a bit more. And then make sure that when that foot turns that you delay that. That's the other thing that, I mean, again, because it's in steps, but strikes me as like a one unit piece that rotates around. So breaking this up, I think it's going to help. Same thing with a turn with the knee and that arm coming over. Just so it's a bit more broken up. And I think this will be a good moment of since we're fairly off balance here, like the butt so far over, to do a nice little plop. It's not like he's holding on to anything. I do like that compression here, that pressure. But this feels like a good opportunity to go plop into something a bit stronger. And then given the time, this is a really big reach over a couple of frames. So question is, once you spline this, will you have enough time to do all this. My inclination is it's going to take a bit longer to, to do all this business to get back. And you might have to nix this idea too. Because the thing is, finger details and everything, if you do this, you've shown it at the beginning. I don't think we need it at the end. And this could be a good button to just go plop and then that's it. That's the end of it. But that's just me. Depends what you want to do. You can let me know. I mean, even for this here, you could add for complexity. This could be, you know, 
a bigger forest. You got lots of trees. And this, this trunk could actually be here in smaller form. And when he goes back here, this might maybe too uh, human-y, but you know, where that arm is out and then holds on to this to then lean back, then let's go and then plops down. Maybe, just throwing it out there. But that is that, all right, thanks. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.